Last video, we defined the orthogonal complement of any subspace and we did two examples in R2. So in this video, I want to do an example with a more complicated vector space with a more complicated inner product. Um, for that, I'll use this proposition, which you'll prove on the next assignment. Um, if W is spanned by these vectors, W1, W2, Wm, then an element of V would be in the orthogonal, orthogonal complement of W exactly when the inner product of V with all the generating elements here will give you zero. So you only need to check that V is orthogonal to these M elements. You don't need to consider all elements of W, which really shrinks your work. All right, so what we'll do is we'll use this result to find the orthogonal complement of the span of 1 and x. So I'm going to find conditions on the real numbers a, b, c, d that ensure that this polynomial is in w bar. w bar, sorry. So we need p of x comma 1 equals 0. That means the first condition. The second one is I need p of x with the second generating um, element to be zero by the proposition. So each one of these conditions is going to give you an equation in A, B, C, D that must be zero. So let's find the first one and let's find the second one and the two together will give you your answer. So let me put that Alright, so we need p of x1 according to the definition of the inner product, that's an integral from minus 1 to 1, p of x is ax cubed plus bx squared plus dx plus d, and then times 1, dx equals 0, so I get ax4 over 4 plus bx cubed over 3 plus cx squared over 2 plus dx. That's the integral. Now I need to plug in minus 1 and 1. I'll get a over 4 plus b over 3 plus c over 2 plus d. That's what I get when I plug 1. Now FTC tells me to subtract what I get when I plug in the second bound. So here I'm going to get a over 4 minus b over 3 plus c over 2 minus d. And so all in all, um, the even terms cancel and the odd ones add. So I get 2b on 3 plus 2d. So we know that that must be 0. And so that's going to be your first condition. That will be the integral from minus 1 to 1 of ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. But instead of timing it by 1, I'm going to time it by x. And so here, 
Um, I get 2A on 5 plus 2C on 3. That must be 0 as well. Alright, so we have translated our two conditions on inner product into equations in A, B, and C. So let's just conclude, put them together. So we need this one. So 2B on 3 plus D plus 2D to be 0. And we need that one, 2a on 5 plus 2c on 3 to be 0 as well.